Hey anglers, it's Al the Hitman Sims with the weekly fishing recon report brought to you from BlackOpsFishing.com Real Undercover Fishing 3rd, 2012 Our first one comes from Gary Brummett at Connecticut Outfitters in Weathersfield The Connecticut River Mouth and Lower this week saw the river returning to somewhat normal flows after the rains passed through last week. But most reports from the mouth are of frustrated anglers not seeing fish, bait, or birds of prey. The water temperature is still a chilly 50 to 52, but should warm up by the weekend, and then we expect it to get hot. The Greater Hartford area. Keeper stripers are plentiful. Continuing good numbers of herring and alewife as well. Charter Oak Landing and East River Park have been producing fish for the salmon bloodworm crowds even during the daytime. Weathersfield Cove has been red hot. Herring and alewife are in and the stripers are following. Many reports of keeper fish from the cove. Also a good amount of crappie from in front of the yacht club. One customer showed us pictures of what appears to be a hybrid pickerel pike from the cove caught near the North Shore. Largemouth bass have been hitting well on Arkansas shiners and 10 inch power worms too. Black Pond was well stocked with fresh trout and we're hearing of some good sized bows coming in by the shore crowd. North of Hartford, catching stripers has been reported as challenging for everyone fishing in the day and not breaking the herring band. Guys and gals heading out at night though, with plugs and eels, are doing much better. Shad fishing is still quite hot in the Connecticut and lower Farmington River. Lloyd took a large sea run brown in the Connecticut River in the rain on a white striper plug to everyone's surprise. Salmon River and Farmington River's TMA sections, well the reports just keep pouring in. Both Samuel L. and Spencer for Hire hit the salmon this week and neither was disappointed. Many fish and quality fish aplenty. Giant super mealies and inline spinners did the trick. Mike on the farmy was using curly tail grubs and tiny jig heads in the rip for a load of browns in the 12 to 18 inch range. Connecticut Outfitters Marine Report. Good reports of flounder fishing in the Nyanic River, but it seems as if the cold water temps and the severe wind put the kibosh on many plans last week. This week should be a lot different. Remember to stop at Connecticut Outfitters for all your fishing needs and free, friendly, expert advice. Big news, the Fishing Factory 3's third annual season-long fluke tournament. The tournament will start on opening day of fluke season, May 15th, and run through October 31st. It's only 20 bones to enter. Last year, the cash prizes were over $1,500. The season-long tournament will be followed by a picnic at the Fishing Factory 3. Your registration fee will cover your food at the picnic. However, it will be a BYOB event. Next report comes to us from Dave's Bait and Tackle in Westchester. Dave's is the help yourself bait store. Let's keep it that way. Take your bait, but leave your loot in the honor box. Dave says guys have been reporting good bass fishing at Moodus Reservoir, Pickerel, and Bayesian Lakes, with the latter producing some nice smallmouths around the islands. Dave says some nice, nice trout reports from Bayesian have come into the shop as well. All the rivers and Day Pond have been stocked again at least once and the rain has the fish spread out and the catching has been awesome. Stop by and check out Dave's Bait and Tackle. Look for the bright orange sign on Route 149 and Dave's kids have fresh free range chicken eggs for sale at the shop too. Next is our very own Black Ops Fishing Mafia report. Sunday, 429, the hitman, that's me, fished the Connecticut River for 12 hours in brutal wind from Hartford to Essex, not finding anything bassy. But not to be skunked, he headed up the Salmon River, beached the boat to fish from shore, and nailed four channel cats and a sweet carp that ate a $4 ball of blood worms. After Sunday, the fishing got red hot for us. 
fish Sean, Jeff and I have been hammering on the trout at Day Pond and they are big. We have done well on flies, but for bait, Day Pond is a power bait hotspot. Fish power bait on a slip rig and it's a guarantee. Last night, Fish Sean nailed five trout and a big bass on, you guessed it, power bait before coming down and joining me for some story. Kudos this week go to Fish On with the amazing catch of a trophy white catfish weighing in at 10.4 pounds. We sent all the info to the DEEP for this trophy catch. Nice job, Sonny. This has been Al the Hitman Sims with the weekly Black Ops Fishing Recon Report. Until next week, keep off my bass.
kudos this week go to fish on with the amazing catch of a trophy white catfish weighing in at 10.4 pounds we sent all the info to the DEEP for this trophy catch nice job Sonny this has been Al the Hitman Sims with the weekly Black Ops Fishing Recon Report until next week keep off my bass